Let's try this integral. This is my guy, Steve. Evaluate the integral from 2 to 4 of x sine of x squared dx, okay? So how we evaluate this is by first noting that we have x times sine of x squared, meaning you might want to use a u substitution here, okay? So if u equals x squared, then we know that du equals 2x dx. Now, luckily for us, we have an x and a dx already in our problem, okay? So we can just get rid of that 2 by dividing both sides by 2. That gives us half du equals x dx, okay? Now, we're always done with our substitution, except we have limits of integration. So, if we know that, well, when x equals 2, then we can substitute for that. So that means that u equals that same 2 squared, meaning u would be 4, okay? Then when x equals 4, then u would equal that same 4 squared, okay? So, u would equal 16. So, we know this is now the integral from... 4 to 16 of, we know that the x dx is now half of du, okay, and then now the sine of x squared is just the sine of that u. Now it's a lot easier integral to integrate. So the integral of sine of u is negative cosine of u. So this gives us negative half of the cosine of u, and then now we have our new limits of integration, which is 4 to 16. Got it. Because of our fundamental theorem of calculus, we know we can plug in those limits of integration into that indefinite integral. Got it. So that gives us negative half of the cosine of 16 minus the cosine of 4. That becomes our evaluation of this integral. Always remember math is everywhere.